How the band Foreigner went from six to four members on the album for one of the biggies. Our interview with Lou Graham coming up. I know a lot of you have been asking about helping the channel. There is now a link to PayPal where you can donate to Rock History Music. It's at the very top of the description of every single video. Thanks. Here's Lou Graham. When four came out, the band got smaller. Um, someone had asked me to, t to ask you, he said that you regretted that, that, uh, that, 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 that happened. I regretted it for the friendships that we had, yeah. but, but, but I not only agreed, but I, I, uh, uh, kind of pushed for it to happen musically. Uh, you know, the first, the first three albums were, were, were fine, but, but I was seeing a sameness, a sameness in people's playing, no matter what, what song we were writing or recording, it was almost like they were playing the same similar parts all the time same similar sound there was nothing nothing creative or nothing that made us go wow that's great you know they were just just kind of like noodling and uh, it, it 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 wasn't it wasn't uh helping the band get any better they they were it, it was just a it was just not a good feeling you know well, it, it went six times platinum and had five singles <laughs> oh no, I understand. I understand all that, and so did Mick. You know, and he felt the same way. Uh, we 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 were at a point after Head Games where we needed a big album, a creatively different album in a different direction, and we started writing songs for it. And, and these particular guys were, were into it, but but they were playing the same stuff they played two albums ago. You know, just noodling, same sounds, same kind of. They, they weren't, we were growing and we needed to grow and they were not growing. They were actually holding us back. Uh, when you, when you were sitting there, Mick told you when you were auditioning or playing with them for the first time to also write while, and then sing what you wrote. Uh, uh, not really. No, he didn't say that. He, 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 after, after I auditioned, I was singing songs that were already written. Right. But like when I went there, I sang "Feels Like the First Time." That was completely written already, and I think uh, I think at War with the Worlds or something else. I think I did two or three songs that were complete already. However, when when he he knew he liked my voice and he he asked me if I would like to be part of the band, then he asked me. He says, "Do you write?" And I says, "I says I says, did you hear those Black Sheep albums?" And he says, "Yes." I says, "I wrote." a huge part of that, that repertoire. And he says, fine. He says, we're going to start writing right away. And the day that I was accepted in that evening, I went over to Mick's house for dinner. And after dinner, we, we worked on, uh, um, I'm trying to think what song it was long, long way from home Yeah, for about six hours until one o'clock. Then I went back to my hotel room. That is a great song. I love that song. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the, uh, I, le uh, I left the small town Rochester for the apple in decay and the apple in decay was New York. Cause when I was down there, there was a garbage strike. The garbage hadn't been picked up in over three weeks. It was all piled up on the curb. The whole, all of Manhattan stunk to high heaven. And that, that I, I termed the apple in decay. That's a great line. And that song has a nice bounce to it too. I love, I love the way that you, you, you grab your words when you, when you're writing, do you ever sing it or? Uh, oh yeah, I have to sing it. Hey, thanks for watching. And remember, make sure you like our videos. We really pay attention to that. It helps the videos perform better. Subscribe to our channel. We're reaching a hundred thousand real soon. And by all means, share our videos on groups or on your Facebook page or on your Twitter. And of course, we read all the comments. And I know a lot of you have been asking how you could help the channel. If you want to donate, we now have a PayPal link. It's at the very top of the description of every video, including this one. And we thank you in advance. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. More from Lou Graham in just a few days.